G'day folks, Ben from Snowy is today showing you this Black Wolf four fold cam chair. Get it. This chair's got an easy setup quad fold design, padded armrest to make it easy to get in and out of, and an upright seated position that is perfect for people who might have bad backs. Before we dive into this product, there is loads more content like this on our YouTube channel, so make sure you like and subscribe and you'll get notified of all of our latest content. Now let's jump in. This is the Black Wolf four fold chair in its bag. Weighs just under five kilos, about 115 centimeters in length, about 25 centimeters by 20 centimeters in width and depth there. I am going to pull it out of the bag and show you how easy it is to set up. By setting this chair up is really easy. It almost just wants to fall into place. So just put it down, a little bit of a, a wiggle on the, chair, on the arms there and it all falls into place. Looking first at the dimensions of the chair, about 100 centimeters to the top of the backrest here and it's about 60 centimeters in depth, so to the very back of the frame to the front here. 65 centimeters from the edge of the armrest to the other edge of the armrest. And looking at the height, it's about 50 centimeters to where this sits when it's uh, straight like this, but once you sit in it, that will sag down to around about 45 centimeters. About 40 centimeters in depth from the front of the seat to this stitching point here, but it does slope back a little bit further there, so there's not a specific point that it changes from seat to backrest. And it's about 45 centimeters from where the frame finishes on the padded section here. It's a little bit wider from edge to edge, but there's a, a frame that sits here. So between the frame where you've got comfort to sit on, it's about 45 centimeters. Now this is made of a padded 600 denier polyester. There's a, a high density polyester padding in here, which if I squish it down, it's probably sort of three to five millimeters or, or maybe it's about three millimeters of padding in there. So offers a bit more comfort. Two-tone fabrics on the arms. There is a, a padded sleeve, I suppose. So this is a, a powder coated steel frame inside here. And then you've got this foam um, with the polyester wrapped around the outside. So you have got a padded section for your arms to uh, rest on. And all the frame is a powder coated hammer tone steel. And it's all put together with these uh, durable sort of nylon plastic components here. And big feet on the bottom so if it's in soft ground this isn't going to sink into the ground like some feet can so nice durable feet they're doing a bit of a tour around the chair uh, on the front we can see um, the frame's got this cross-legged design here nice sturdy frame with the big feet as i mentioned before twist it around to the side here uh, arm sort of all the mechanisms that uh, go together to give it that easy sort of setup sort of motion and also lots of stability lots of frame heavy duty frame in here on the back, not much to see there. Nice big cross section there for stability in the back. And these arms go right up to the top of the headrest here, or the backrest, sorry. And on the other side, the only real difference being that you have got a little holder here. This does have clips. You can remove this and put it on the other side if you like. If I flip this back the other way here, there are the same corresponding clips here. So you can have your drink holder either on the left or the right. Now, in terms of comfort, uh, I'm 185 centimeters. Uh, the chair has 125 kilogram weight rating. And the immediate thing I notice when I sit in this that is it's different than a lot of almost any other camp chair that I've sat in. I feel like I've sat on a really firm base so it doesn't slouch down and the back feels much more upright. So my immediate thought is that this is probably a really good chair for someone who might have had back problems. Um, and you want to get away from some camp chairs that really you, you sort of slouch into, which are comfortable, I suppose, to lay in and, and sort of fall asleep, but not always good for people with a bad back. But if you're looking for something with a quite a firm base and an upright back that even you could put a, a, a sort of lumbar support in here, this chair would be really comfortable. Um, the arms are soft uh, or padded, so resting on them feels comfortable, but they're firm enough to lean on to get yourself in and out of the chair. And it's probably a really good design if you want to use a chair against a dining table. Uh, a lot of camp tables are small, so you can't have arms that stick out too far because you can't put chairs next to each other. Uh, you could put these two, two of these chairs quite close to each other and sit comfortably at a camp table and have dinner. And it's got a nice upright firm position to be able to sit and eat at. You're not slouching back too much. So certainly a very different design camp chair. Um, probably versatile both for dining uh, and in the camp kitchen as well as on around the, uh, the campfire. Now, set, uh, sorry, pack up of this chair is really easy. It folds up really simply. You just come in behind. Once again, grab the to front arm, uh, the front of the arms, sorry, and just pull it back towards you and upwards and it folds nice and flat. That's all there is to it. We then grab the carry bag. Just put it in the carry bag feet first. 
can be easier if you've got a second person just to hold the carry bag open for you, but it's not an overly heavy chair, just to sort of hold in one hand while you slide the bag on in the other. Just make sure you don't get this loop caught up between the feet as you slide it in. Once you get started, it'll just slide in nice and easily. It goes all the way, it's an oversized bag, so they haven't made it difficult to slide it back inside. Pull the drawstring tight at the top, and that is the four-fold chair from Black Wolf packed back in its bag. I reckon this is a really good chair, like I said, for those who want a really upright or firm and upright seated position in the campsite, uh, or maybe if you do have a bad back, I reckon a really good option because you could quite comfortably slide a lumbar support or something in there for a bit of extra back, to, back support, sort of customize what you need. Check these out online at snowies.com.au.